Hello, I'm Mr. Peck. It's Tuesday again, so it's time for a Tuesday tutorial. This week, I'm going to be talking about Peacock's Alpha Counters. Peacock is generally thought of as a point character by most players, but that doesn't mean she's never going to be at the back of the team. She has strong assists and good DHC synergy with various characters, and even if she's in the first slot of your team, she could always get snapped out, or have to DHC out to save herself. Whatever the reason, it's worth learning how to bring Peacock back in so she can start up her zone again. If you don't want to blow the meter on a DHC into Lenny, Peacock's alpha counters are a great way of bringing her back in. Much like how Storm's lightning attack alpha counter in level 2 can be used to escape from pressure by holding up to make her fly upwards instead of forwards, most of Peacock's common assists can be cancelled or modified when used as alpha counters to help her instantly start zoning if she's a decent distance from her opponent. So let's quickly run through all of Peacock's common assists and how they can be used to set up zoning as an alpha counter. All of Peacock's bomb assists can be cancelled into any other bomb when used as an alpha counter, just like how Peacock can do bomb cancels normally. Alpha countering with an item drop assist lets you hold the item if you want, regardless of whether you use the charged or uncharged item drop assist. Standing heavy punch assist can be cancelled into any of the previous options, or into any other specials such as medium bang for a get off me alpha counter. One more thing about Walking George Assist. If Peacock Alpha counters with Walking George Assist and there's already a Walking George on screen, she instantly returns to neutral and can do whatever she wants, including blocking. This is one of the best Alpha counters in the entire game, outside of Robo Fortune's level 3 explosion, so take advantage of it if you get the chance. You can technically do this with Peacock's other bomb assists too, but it's so situational that it's barely worth mentioning. And finally, if you're the most next level player known to man and you're running heavy teleport assist, full screen squiggly daisy pusher setups, you can cancel it into fake teleport by holding punch. And that's it. Let me know if I got anything wrong or missed anything, and I'll see you next Tuesday for another Tuesday tutorial.